all right boys welcome back to the channel it's been a few weeks i've not been doing too great to be honest with you but i'm uh, gonna try and make some more videos so the day i am gracing or cursing you with my presence today depending on your feelings is the new well they've changed the events in war thunder and now we're going to be having them near enough constantly i guess the grind never stops from now on in war thunder so we're kicking off with the call of the dragon now this obviously is kind of chinese inspired i'm guessing it's not really like a wyvern like a european dragon but we're getting a russian tank as a reward not a chinese vehicle a little bit goofy but can't really complain anyway so we're getting the object 292 this is basically like a t95 prototype i guess it's what eventually would go on to form like the prototype which would go on to be the armata i think it's a 152mm gun on a T80 chassis. So let's read a little bit more about the tank while my dog plays with his toys. So a look on the Object 292 itself. As we know, it's a T80 series of tank with a 152mm smoothbore gun. It's got a long barreled 152, apparently. It doesn't look that much long to me, though, compared to like a, a 105mm or a... Uh, 120 l55 it doesn't look like the caliber is going to be that large it's not going to be super high velocity i'm guessing probably looks like a 40 cal maybe something it's quite a large caliber the barrel length pretty much determined the well it's the barrel length to diameter of the bore which determines how long the powder has an effect on the projectile bit nerdy but you guess what i mean it does have an autoloader, as you'd expect from any Soviet main battle tank. Because it is a larger round though, the autoloader isn't as fast as a, the 125mm the gun. You can find it here. It does say it is a ten, uh, 6 rounds per minute, so every 10 seconds. This thing's probably going to be battery rating 10.3 or 11.0, around that range. Where a 10 second reload is going to put you a little bit out of the meta. Does also, also say this is based on the T80BV. I'm not really sure what the V stands for. But as you can see, it just has steel. But that looks like welding bead to me. That's probably just to imitate the weight of the ERA. Probably isn't going to add too much protection. The cupola is also different. And it does also have a bustle at the rear of the tank. I don't know whether that features any sort of an autoloader system. I like the T90M, it's kind of like a spur ammunition bustle, that is a, remains to be seen. Let's get a better view of the bustle here. It's going to look like a, a lot of a welding job here. They utilised the secret weapon of the Chinese and farmers and did a lot of shitty welding. But, semi-racist jokes aside, it looks like a, a good event vehicle in my opinion. Alright, so for the Call of the Dragon event, we've already got the Object 292, so do we get anything else from this grand? Well, we get a few things, to be honest. The Black Dragon decal, it looks pretty cool. The Green Dragon decal, also looks pretty cool, but I wouldn't really use decals on tanks like this when you can put like, you can make meme things of it. This thing does look pretty cool, the Green Dragon decal, or decoration, sorry. They haven't said what this is for. I'm assuming it's for tanks, but it doesn't actually say here. It just says green dragon decoration. Gaijin might do what they usually do and make this for like naval or something. It does look pretty cool though. Having that on top of a tank will be quite intimidating. So this is an event and we are going to have to grind 45,000 mission points over two days. A lot of people are complaining about this saying it's too high. Uh... It depends really what type of player you are. I haven't been playing much at all recently. But during the last event, I did grind out 40,000 mission points for uh, ground and naval every two days. It did kind of make me want to uh, commit fall damage, as the kids say. But it's not a bad... Like, getting 20,000 mission points isn't that bad. I'm assuming this will... Uh, it's in ground battles as well, actually, from rank 3. I'd stick to lower tiers. You do get a little bit of a... You get like a 0.8 multiplier if you're playing under like rank 3, something like that. You get more mission point multiplier the higher level or the higher battle rating you play. Stick to whichever battle rating you are best at and have most fun at. Don't try and play top tier just because it gets a thing over quickly. 
So we can see that the rewards here, this is running for 18 days. It's from the 1st of February. Let me find it till the 19th. So 19 days. Well, I guess it's 18 days in total. So every two days we get a new ability to unlock something. So step one is just a random chest. And as you can see, just down and down and down and down and down until we get stage eight for the non-tradable coupon. As I said, stage eight is for the non-tradable coupon if you want to sell this vehicle though as it says here uh, the upgrade coup coupon item can be earned in parallel with the stages through the event from february 1st or february the 19th for 75,000 mission points so doing some quick maths 75,000 divided by 18 around 40,000 something like that you're gonna have to be grinding 40,000 mission points every day of the event really all right, so what vehicles should be used for actually grinding out the event? <clears throat> well, my suggestion would be my go-to absolute Giga Chad 3.7 Swedish lineup. The J22B with four 13mm guns. Rank 3 Panzer IV. That thing's not rank 3, but forget about that. Rank 3 Sherman. Rank 3. That probably You probably don't own that. It's quite a rare vehicle. That's not rank 3. You also get the T-34, which is rank 3 as well. So, Swedish rank 3. Very, very fun. 3.7. Battle rating, well, 3.7. Also rank 3. Low fighting. Pretty good matchmaker as well, to be honest. And you've got probably, well, the three meta vehicles, shall we say. All in one great battle rate. Uh, all in one great nation. Israel. Lol. Don't play Israel. France is another nation that can get shafted. Again, my dog is playing with his ball with a little bow in it. Sorry if you can hear. Uh, France doesn't have that many great battle ratings. 7.7 .7 used to be fantastic, but then they've increased it to 8.0 with the Child 25T as well. Kind of destroying the, the one good lineup of France. So I'd say go top tier. Italy, again, kind of hit and miss in the middle. The 6.0 Tiger and the uh, m 19 g is pretty fun along with the R3. 10.3 as well. 10.3 Italy is probably one of the most meta lineups in the game, but people don't really know about it. Leopard 2A4, um, both the Dardo and the VCC, the Fresher, which I'm nearly close to having. The Arietta Prototype, probably the be best rank for rank main battle tank in the game. It gets a DM33 at 10.3. Very, very good. Uh, not the Centauro. Well, those Centauros as well. Very, very good lineup. 10.3 lineup for the Italians. Very good. Got the new AMX. Well, newish. For the Italian and uh, Italians, for the Chinese, we have the 10.7 lineup. Again, very, very slept on. <clears throat> Not many people play 10.7 because they think you get up tiered to 11.7 quite a lot, but you surprisingly get down tiered quite a lot. So the ZTZ 99, 2 and 3, and the MBT 2000. Very, very good vehicles very good lineup you have the premium as well for backup pretty much the same vehicle just doesn't have the best top tier round japanese kind of up to you i'd stay you can either go for an 11.0 lineup with like the tkx and the type 16 and, and the type 90s or you can go top tier japanese top tier again very very slept on very fast rate of fire for second reload i believe very good top tier round as well very good tanks don't have the best ammo but you do get very good mobility and very good thermals british tanks again with the challenger 3 cool little camouflage here it's a pretty decent tank are the british meta at top tier no at 8.7 they are pretty decent to be honest not really too much below that to be honest i guess 4.7 is also pretty good with the premium sherman firefly nice little crown on a reef the soviets the Sprout M has got a buff recently. You now get 3BM60. Very good round at 10.0. 10.0 Soviet lineup is very good with the Terms, the Cancer Mobile, the even more cancerous mobile, the Strella, which is 10.0 now. And you get it. You can't basically take your pick with the Soviet Tech Tree. It's all strong. The Germans, again, pretty much any battery rating you want to play is strong, really. Top tier strong, 10.3 is strong. Can't remember 9.3, but pretty much every battle rating is strong. 5.7 and uh, 6.7 or 7.0, or whatever the meta is now. America, kind of like Israel, is kind of in the dumps at the minute. 
10.3 is quite enjoyable for me. You have the, well, it's like right American real life. It's just earth power dominated more than land power now. You have the Kiowa, the Tram, uh, the KVT. If you're lucky enough to own the M60 AMPT, this thing is an absolute beast. I think all these vehicles are event vehicles actually, apart from the Lavad. This thing's gone up to 11.0 as well, hasn't it? We need to take that out of it. Nice, back to 10.3. But yeah, America doesn't really have the best tanks, to be honest. I always, there's a very high skill ceiling to use them. But anyway, lads, I hope you enjoyed the video. Quick little overview of what's coming in the next event. I'm going to go and hop on a treadmill and try not to be such a fat ass. Have a great time playing War Thunder, and I'll see you guys shortly.